going on, folks? It is Case Spade the Prospect, YouTube's best kept secret. I'm back today with an NBA 2K17 Pro Am gameplay. You know what? I'm supposed to drop these every day, and it's been a couple of days since I dropped one. And what had happened? Anyway, it don't matter. To make up for it, man, I'm not just dropping one Pro Am video today. I'm gonna give you guys dos. Dos Pro Am videos. I'm dropping two, but I gotta start with one. Before I can get to two, unless we count by twos. Don't pay me no attention. I ramble. Today's video I got for you guys is part two of Jay Easy's tryout. Now let me start off letting you guys know Jay Easy is a YouTuber. The man is an OG in the game. I'm a fan of his, but that ain't got anything to do with this. Let's let's get down to business. My man got a lockdown defender. K Spade likes lockdown defenders. Played against some. They they made it hell for me out there on the court. I have been desperately seeking one who was very IQ smart. Do that make any sense? Because I'm not going to stop this commentary. Whatever mistakes I make, we're going we to keep this shit rolling. Very smart when it comes to basketball IQ. Jay Easy was definitely that in game one. Now, if you missed his first tryout, I don't remember the title to it, but it's on the channel. Y'all know me. I'm going to try my best to link you to it. I'll put some cards or some annotations or something. Make sure you find it. Also, check out Jay Easy's channel too. That's a whole other story. But Jay came out in that first game and he impressed me. He was smart. If you got a good look, oh my God, Styles out here catching bodies. This boy Styles is cold, bruh. He cold. Anyway, I'm trying to stay on task right here, Styles. Relax. Just do regular layups until I get through setting this video up. He was smart in that first game, y'all. If he got a good look, he took the shot. He made the shot. Played really good defense. That's kind of expected with a lockdown defender. But he was also unselfish. He knew when to pass. He knew when to shoot. He knew when to rotate. He, I mean, he was smart. I liked his first run. But as the rules state, you got to get at least two runs before I can judge you off of it. Now, the good news with that is if you have a bad run in the first game, it ain't the end of the world. It ain't. But if you have a good run, hey, I want to make sure it wasn't luck. So that's what we're trying to do out here. Look at the scoreboard. TMM came out the gate fast. That's typically not what we do. We kind of a second half team. So when we come out the gate fast, one of two things happen. We either just have an amazing game and we beat somebody's ass out here or we get bored being ahead we start goofing off we take our foot off the gas we don't we, wait hold on one second let me get this right quick rain maker bitch let me get that iris spring green on my shot meter bro you already know the new jumper man i'm loving the new jumper i don't know why it didn't work for mob but on i say i like this jumper let me get that matter of fact let me follow up that rain maker with another damn rain maker Irish Spring Green still. Second quarter action, man. We still look like we we okay. Now we floating right around the double digit lead mark. It'll go from 9 to 11, something like that. Styles was the guy this game. Now I'm gonna tell you what I like about my team and what I like about my offense. We truly don't come out and predetermine whose night it is. We don't come out and say, okay, rap. Last game, Spade took a lot of shots. You didn't get that many shots, so this is your game. We don't do that. To me, that's lame. I mean, you might do it on your team and it might work, so I ain't trying to throw no shade to your team to each his own but over here we don't do that we don't feel that to be necessary we just come out and run our offense and we take what the defense show us and that determines who night is going to be some nights is mine sometimes it's rap sometimes it's style sometimes it's phillies or whoever and, and it really don't matter and i think since our team does that it's easier to keep people like interested our teammates they buy into it because even if you come out and you had this game you might finish this game with four points you know, if you've been running with us for a minute, you know if you just hang around, your day gonna come, bruh. Your day will come. You gonna have that day where's your day. This one right here, at least at the start of it, man, it looked like it's Styles Day. And when Styles get in his bag, hey, I don't like to give Styles too many compliments, but when Styles get in his bag, it's, it's a strange thing to see because he'll start beating his matchup and he won't get one other person to collapse. Entire teams be collapsing. And we just be sitting out there ready to shoot. So one of two things is going to happen this game. They're going to either start helping out this PG or maybe they'll just let him eat. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right here, the big rotates. He kicks it out. Look at Jay Easy. Could have forced the shot. Was patient enough. I don't know how that didn't go out of bounds, Styles. I don't know. Was patient enough to get an extra pass out of it. We got five seconds on the shot clock. Man, we might use this entire shot clock. Rap had to put up something that I know he didn't want to put up. But we end up getting the offensive glass. We don't get another chance at this. We don't get this shit right. Hold up, hold up. I get it back over to Jay. Jay could have pulled. One extra pass. Rap was in the corner. Bang, bang, chicken wing. You already know. If Rap get a good look, that thing is good money. You can take it to the bank. 
So I'm going to tell you what happened. Beautiful defensive play right here. This team started trying to make a run. Oh, man. I got to get this team credit right there. They played that not like I thought they would. I still created a good look for myself. I just ain't make the shot. They ain't nobody fault but my own. But on that fast break, I was expecting them to all come to me on the pass, and they all stayed with Styles. So when I threw it back to Styles, I'm pretty sure Styles was like, the hell you give it back to me for? They still right here. But anyway, what they started to do that was working for them a little bit offensively, they started getting a high screen for their PG, who I assume was probably a playmaker. And you know, the playmakers get pick and roll. Maestro, and it gives them a boost on shooting off of that pick. Oh, man, I was going to say, if he get that too. Oh, one more to you, boy. Oh, man, you know I had my finger on the trigger right there. All right, my bad, my bad. Anyway, like I was saying, what they did on offense was they started running the high screen for their PG, and the PG was trying to spear this comeback for him. Now, I know you're looking at the score like, uh, no, he wasn't, Spade, but he was. Trust me, I was there. Y'all wasn't. You got to take my word for it. I'm always right. They started getting a bit of a comeback through the PG, and it wasn't necessarily like he was killing us or nothing like that, but what happens is through that screen, man, the screens, they do so much to you on the defensive end, like defensively. They just destroy your player. Your stamina goes down and affects your offense. So what started to happen was we was like, wait a minute, Styles is eating. Like he's the offensive guy for us this game. And we was watching him fight through these screens and really have to go through it on the defensive end. That's when my boy Jay Easy came up with the master plan. Jay Easy said, you know what, Styles? Let's switch zones in the 2-3. Let me get up high with Spade. I'm going to lock down defender. Jay, look, Jay Easy actually said he had platinum. I like the troll, Jay Easy. He said, I got this platinum pick, Dodger, so it ain't going to work that good on me. And then he didn't say this, but I think he was probably thinking in his head, Spade is already an exceptional defender. So, you know, he's not a lockdown defender, but he play like one. So you put me and Spade up top, we're going to frustrate them, and we just going to make them up, work a little bit harder for it. You know, that's all I'm saying. Not saying that they're not going to still score, they're going to get points. We just want them to have to work as hard as possible for these shots because we don't like these guys. We don't know them, but we don't damn like you. If you're on the opposite end of us on this court, we don't like you. End of the third quarter, you can see what I'm saying, man. You see Jay Easy up top frustrating them. That should have been a turnover right there. Instead, they get it back, got a great look. But that lockdown probably all in Buddy head, man. He can't get right. I'm going to slow it up right here, rap. I, I, I got to get you. I got to get it to you in a better spot than that. I got to get you a better look at the basket. Real patient offense, man. Look at Styles. You got to watch him. You got to watch him. He creates so easy. One more pass over to me. Look, we did this earlier, but I'm telling y'all I got some European shit in my game, bro. I got some American stuff in my game. I got some European stuff in my game, and I'm trying to start hanging out with rap. I want to add a little bit of Canadian flair in my shit, too. I want to have all-world game. You never know what you're going to get from K-Spade. I'm going to be like uh, Forrest Gump. I'm going to be like a box of chocolates when I get the ball. You ain't never going to know what you're going to get. 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We got an 11-point lead. Look at the high screen. Somebody falls. Man, Styles, you on fire. I give it right back to Styles. Like, bro, you on fire. Eat. Bang, bang. I don't even, like, don't even start passing the plate now. You know, ate up all the food for three quarters. Don't want to share now. Fourth quarter down the stretch. Hey, man, Styles has been the guy that they've been having fit stopping. He is definitely the reason why we got this lead. And, hey, we want to ride the high hand all the way to the finish line. Ain't no reason not to. On the last possession, I wanted you to see they, they did score. Like, when me and Jay-Z went up top, we didn't completely shut them down. I don't, I don't want to sell no lies out here. I'm a pretty honest guy for the most part. But I did want to show you how hard they fighting for it. And fighting, they are doing. That homie rap, I told y'all, I think he's one of the best limitless range shooters out there. That man will go out the screen and shoot it and, and cash it. I mean, at a high clip. At a high clip. Something like 80%. Just crazy. We was making them take looks they don't want. Now, I'm not saying that guy can't make that shot. That offensive boy killed us, though. I'm not saying that guy can't make that shot. But there's some better shots on the court, right? I mean, he ain't rap. He can't, he can't shoot like rap. He got to try to find something better than that. Styles slowing the tempo up. Looks like he was waiting on Philly. Man, look at Styles when he got the ball, bruh. The stuff this man do with the rock. The stuff this man do with the rock, man, is crazy. I, my bad, Styles. I ain't know you was going to miss that. I was hyping that shit like hell. <laughs> my bad, bruh. My bad. Anyway, us missing that shot, uh, missing a shot, led to them getting the basket. Great defense leads to easy offense, even when it's not us with the great defense. But I still want to show you Styles being aggressive at the end of the game. When he tried to pass out, like right here, Rap could have forced something. Rap is more than capable of scoring from there. Instead, we getting it back to Styles. Like, bruh, eat, eat, be aggressive. This is your game. He was taking over. 
He was definitely the man. Now, we got him down in that corner zone. He ain't quite used to playing in that zone right there. He was a little slow in the rotation styles. I had to put that in the video so I can chastise you about it later. Anytime I give you a compliment, I got to I gotta balance it out. I tell you something good, then I come back and go, you need to work on you. You know, hey, what, what can I say? I'm a bad guy. Under two minutes on the clock, wrapped with the dribble drive. He's going to drop it off to Philly. Philly's going to go to the charity strike for a chance at two, which he's going to capitalize on. He got both of them. I know, I know I didn't show it, but I was there. Take my word for it. He made both of them. Under two minutes to go in the game. We got a double-digit lead. It's real easy right here to get loose. Start taking crazy shots. Maybe fall asleep in some zones. But, man, I really want this team to fight till we get to the finish line. That's exactly what we're doing. Somebody calling my phone while I'm doing a commentary. I got to have this phone on silent. I got to know better. I better go ahead and draw the curtain, man. Things getting crazy around the spade household. We get the dub. Great defense from Jay Easy. In the two games I saw from Jay Easy, hey, I saw enough to offer my man a jersey. Jay, you got a TMM jersey ready. Uh, Jay got a real busy schedule, though. We haven't been able to run with him any more since his two tryouts. But I got some videos coming. I told you I got another one dropping today. You're going to want to see it. But that's all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys forgive me for being a little bit late, please. And I got a favor to ask before I get out of here. If you enjoyed the video, drop that like. If you new, I said a favor. I got three favors. If you new, hit subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.